Hello and welcome to the Cyber Anatomy 3D Desktop Basic Tools Tutorial. Today we will be focusing on the right side toolbar which includes Pan, Orbit, Zoom, Callouts, and Landmark features. For this tutorial, I chose the head region of the skeletal system. You can select the model you wish to work with from the Table of Contents menu by clicking the grid icon at the bottom of the screen and selecting New Session. Once you have your model picked out, we will start by exploring the Pan tool. To enable this feature, click on the Pan icon. If the tool turns red, then you know it has been selected. Once Pan has been turned on, move the cursor next to the model, then click and hold on the background to move the model to a different part of the screen. Another feature you can access in Pan is Peel. By moving the cursor onto an object and clicking, you can drag structures away from the main model. If you want to return an object to its original position, all you have to do is double click on the piece and it will return to where it came from. Another option for returning an object to its initial location is to grab the object and drag it back towards the model. As you can see, a purple outline appears where the object belongs. When you drag it close enough to the highlighted area, the color will change from purple to green. This lets you know that you can let go of the object and it will now stick back into place by itself. One more aspect of the program that can be manipulated in Pan is centering. If you right click on an object, the structure will move to the center of the screen. The next tool we will be looking at is Orbit. Orbit allows you to turn the object to different angles. To do this, you click beside the model once again and hold while moving the mouse left, right, up, or down. You can also orbit around individual structures with this tool. To get a better idea of this, let's switch over to Pan and move an object away from the main model. Don't forget to reselect the Orbit tool when you're done. Now, clicking directly on the individual structure, move the mouse once again to orbit. Note that the point you clicked will be the axis of rotation. Please do not hesitate to pause this video and test out each of these tools yourself. We will now be looking at the zoom tool. If you want to get closer to the model, click on the background and then drag down. As you can see, this pulls the model forward. To push the model further away, you're going to move the mouse in the opposite direction by clicking and moving the mouse upward. You can also zoom in on individual structures by selecting one and pulling your mouse down again. And as before, if you wish to push it back into its original position, slide your mouse up. Another option for the zoom function is the plus and minus slider on the right side toolbar. You can either use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out of an image, or you can select the slider itself. Well, that's all for part one of the Cyber Anatomy Desktop Basic Tools tutorial. Be sure to check out parts two and three where we cover callout, landmark, and basic computer mouse functions. <laughs>